we are going to discuss integration by parts the rule integration by parts is used to solve some particular kind of integrations in our syllabus unit number 3 related to fourier series so to evaluate the fourier coefficients we use integration by parts frequently right but whatever you learned in 12th standard is only the simple format of integration by parts right today we are going to discuss the general rule of integration by parts okay so let us start with the revision of integration by parts suppose we have given two functions u which is function of x and v which is also function of x then integration uv can be represented by u integration of v with respect to x minus derivative of u with respect to x into integration of v with respect to x whole integration for the simplicity of the notation i write this equation as integration of uv is u integration of v minus integration of u dash into integration of v now let us start with the exercise suppose i have given the integration ln x dx then how do i solve this integration using integration by parts so what i do i rewrite integration of ln x as integration of 1 into ln x dx right we say ln x as function u and 1 as function v right so when we apply the rule of integration by parts we get ln x into x minus derivative of ln x is 1 upon x and integration of 1 is x and whole integration which gives us x ln x minus integration of 1 because x and x will be cancelled out right so that is x ln x minus x plus some arbitrary constant so the integration of ln x is x into ln x minus 1 plus c where c is arbitrary constant let us take the another example integration of x into e raised to minus x dx assume x as a function of u and e raised to minus function of v then by applying the rule of integration by parts you can prove that the integration of x into e raised to minus x minus x as x dx is minus of x plus 1 into e raised to minus x plus arbitrary constant right where the constant is the real number right the process i have shown here okay now suppose we have given this integration integration of x raised to 4 into e raised to minus x dx then we say x raised to 4 as u and e raised to minus x as v then the answer is this u x raised to minus 4 integration of e raised to minus x divided by minus 1 minus integration of the derivative of u is 4x cube and the integration is e raised to x minus 1 dx now we integrate this quantity 4x cube into e raised to minus x divided by minus 1 so the question is how do we integrate this quantity again we apply the rule of integration by parts so suppose u is the function 4x cube and v is the function e raised to minus x right so actually what is happening so here what happened when we applied the integration rule first time the derivative of x raised to 4 becomes 4x cube now when do we differentiate when we apply the integration by parts again then the derivative of 4x cube will be 4 into 3x square again we apply the integration by parts then we will get the derivative 4 into 3 into 2 into x again we apply the integration by parts then we have the derivative 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 then we apply the integration by parts then the derivative becomes 0 right so here we have to apply the integration by parts at least four times now the question arises do we have 
any other simple format so that we just get the integration of x raised to 4 into e raised to minus x just in one step. So for that let us use some not simple notations. The derivative of u with respect to x du by dx we represent by u prefix 1. The second derivative of u with respect to x is nothing but the first derivative of du by dx. So we represent it by u bracket 2. The third derivative of u with respect to x we represent u3 and we continue the same manner. For the integration, integration of v, we use v suffix bracket 1. For the double integration of v with respect to x, we use v suffix 2. For the third integration of v, we use v3. Okay, so now say this is equation 1. We are rewriting the equation 1 as integration uv is u v1 minus integration of u1 v1. Define new functions u1 as capital U and v1 which is the integration of v is capital V. Then we are supposed to integrate capital U into capital V. We apply the equation 1 right so integration uv can be represented by u v1 minus integration of u1 v1. Now what is capital U? Capital U is the first derivative of U and capital V is the first integration of V. So the integration of capital U into capital V can be represented by U1 V2 minus integration of U2 V2. We substitute this value over here. So what we get integration of UV is equal to UV1 minus U1 V2 plus integration of u2 v2 we continue this manner again we assume u2 as capital u v2 as capital v and again we apply the integration by parts so we get integration of uv is equal to uv1 minus u1 v2 plus u2 v3 minus u3 v4 plus so on Let us discuss one more exercise where the rule can be applied. Integration of x raised to 4 into e raised to minus x dx. So we assume x raised to 4 as u and e raised to minus x as v. Okay, so by the rule u into integration of v, u is as it is which is x raised to 4. Then integration of v, integration of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x divided by minus 1 minus sign. Now derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cube. Again the integration of e raised to minus x divided by minus 1 is e raised to minus x upon minus 1 into minus 1 which is plus 1 plus the derivative of 4x cube is 4 into 3x square again the integration of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x upon minus 1 we have minus sign 4 into 3 into 2x e raised to minus x upon 
minus 1 into minus 1 which is plus 1 plus 4x 4 into 3 into 2 e raised to minus x upon minus 1. So this gives us let us take e raised to minus x common then what we have e raised to minus x into minus x raised to 4 plus minus x raised to 4 minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 24x minus 24. So the integration of e raised to minus x so the integration of x raised to 4 into e raised to minus x dx is e raised to minus x into minus x raised to 4 plus minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 24x minus 24 plus random constant where the constant is the real number. Let us discuss the another exercise. Integration of integration of x cube into cos x dx. Let us assume u as x cube and v as cos x. So the first term says u into integration of v. So u x cube as it is and the integration of cos x is sin x. So x cube into sin x. Now what we do? If you observe the rule, then we differentiate u first time, second time, third time, fourth time. So we find all possible derivative of u. So derivative of x cube is 3x square. Then the derivative of 3x square is 6x and the derivative of 6x is 6. Next. So we just differentiate x cube 3x square we differentiate 3x square as 6x and we differentiate 6x as 6. Now we integrate sin x. Again the integration of sin x is minus cos x. We integrate minus cos x which is minus sin x. We again integrate this quantity. So integration of sin x is minus cos x. So this is minus minus plus cos x. And then we substitute the sign. We are starting with the plus sign. So plus, minus, plus, minus. Therefore, the final answer is x cube into sin x plus 3x square into cos x minus 6x sin x minus 6 cos x plus c where c is the real number. You have some more examples for the practice integration of 1 minus x square into sin x dx. The another example is integration of 1 minus x square into e raised to x dx. So in unit number 3 Fourier series to evaluate the Fourier coefficients we use this rule. So in the next video we shall do more practice about this kind of examples with the limit of the integration right and how do we evaluate those integrals. Thank you.